Okay, this is from my CS482 and MP2. Now, of course, there's no compilation step as this is WebGL, so you just have to enter the correct thing into the address bar and hit enter. And there we go. As you can see, it is moving forward at this point on its own. Uh, so the first thing we're going to show off is that it does uh, turn 360 degrees. But this is with the Q and E keys. You can see it goes all the way around. And it's still flying straight this entire time. Now, the next thing we're going to do is basically a loop where you just pitch using the debate and S keys all the way around in 360. And we're still going forward. And right back where we started. Now we're going to combine those together and be able to fly around. So I can do like this, and I can just kind of turn around in a U turn type thing. I can do both at once to see that, yeah, I'm still going forward after all this. Uh, now, there is a yaw on the A and D keys. It also combines with these. That's kind of an extra feature. Uh, as far as the actual terrain itself, this is all done with a height map. So that controls the height of the mountain at each point. And there's also a river map that controls where the rivers are. And there's a rock map that controls where the rocks are. And there's also lighting that's computed per vertex. So you can turn it on and off with the L key like that. And you can see there is actually quite a large difference when I do that. So yeah, that's my MP.